Hi folks, I've put together this short little video uh, to help you with your write-up of your R&R &R case. Uh, this is the case we're going to do this week and there's a couple of key points here I want to uh, set up for you as you get ready to review this case and write up your analysis. So uh, let's get on to it. Okay, so R&R. &R. R&R <clears throat> is my favorite case. Uh, there are so many great things that happened in this case and so many sort of teachable moments or learning moments of um, watching Reese do this and the things that he did and the way everything came together. So it's a wonderful case. Hopefully you're listening to this um, video before you read the case, but if you didn't, that's okay too. But here's a couple of things I want you to think about. I want you to think about the partnerships that he established and why they were important. What did each of those partnerships bring to the case? Including specifically the TV guide one. Why was that important uh, in this case? What did it provide, uh, number one? And I, you know, you have to recall that, uh, I doubt if any of you remember uh, because you weren't born yet, but. TV Guide was the largest weekly magazine in the country. And the way that it used to work back before cable TV and uh, back when it was broadcast TV, once a week we'd go to the grocery store and we would buy a TV Guide and that basically told us what was gonna be on TV that week. So it was the highest volume selling uh, weekly uh, magazine because it did have some articles in it uh, in the United States. So just think about what that relationship as well as the other ones, I should call them partnerships, not relationships, because if you think about it, he these were partnerships uh, that he established and the role that partnerships played, these were not purely sort of business relationships. Also think through the importance of the timing and the seasonality. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's something like 60% of all toy and game sales happens between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So if that's the case, uh, you have to structure your business around that. You have to figure out how that works. And so think about the timing. If you want to introduce the product at a certain time of the year, then back it up from there. What, what, when do you have to ship it? When do you have to have the design done? When do you have to have inventory picked out, et cetera? So that's another thing that really pays an, an, a key role in here. Also, I want you to think a little bit about the two-tiered retail scenario and think about uh, what that means here and how important it is. So you might not understand what two-tiered means, but he made this toy available, or the game, I should say, available to certain retailers before he made it available to other retailers. Why was that an important part of his strategy? and why was that important? So these are some key important points in this case that um, I just want to make sure you have in the back of your mind as you read it and as you do your write-up for this case. Now, in addition to the things we just talked about on a previous slide, there's some real specific things here I want you to answer. The things in the previous slide were sort of larger concepts, the larger context of everything. What I'm getting to here is, in addition to all those things I talked about in the previous one, these questions you better answer because <laughs> they're required to get a satisfactory grade. So number one, was Reese successful? And, and what do you mean by success, right? What does that mean to you? And was he successful? And here again, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm looking for the way you think about this and the critical thinking and analysis that you bring to bear. How much money did Reese make? So you're gonna have to do a little analysis on this. And um, all, all the figures are in the case. You're going to have to do a little digging and you're going to have to figure it out. And, um, you know, when you're figuring out how to, some, some things in the case are priced per unit. Other things are priced sort of by project. And so you're going to have to do a little bit of analysis here. And Excel spreadsheets work great, but a patent pen works great also but I do want you to figure out uh, how much money Reese makes. And uh, also you need to do a recommendation on what he should do with Who's It. Should he move forward on it? 
so go or no go on this? And uh, why? Which one of those uh, options do you think you should do? Again, no right or wrong answer here. Uh, but I'm looking for your rationale, your thinking, and how you came to that conclusion. So the last part of this is the most important, right? Justify your answers and recommendations with facts and your critical thinking. There's no right, except for how much money he made, and uh, I give you a fair amount of latitude here. Um, there's no right or wrong answer on, on the other ones. So uh, you guys will do a great job, I'm confident. And again, it should be somewhere around two to three pages. Uh, you know, four and five pages too long. One page is probably too short. And you may want to have an addendum or an attachment, if you will, if you do a little spreadsheet analysis for how much money he made. You can. That's in addition to the two or three written pages, I'll call it. So uh, again, submit via Word, and I will give you feedback. So let's see the next slide. OK. Again, your write-up is due February 10th at 11.55 p.m., submitted via Moodle in MS Word format, and then I use track changes to give you the feedback. Um, so if you do it this way, everything works out really well. And um, it should be easy and it should be fun, and I hope you enjoy the case as much as I do. Hopefully this was helpful in sort of getting the R&R &R case set up for you. So uh, thank you very much and uh, hope it's helpful. Any questions or comments or things you're worried about, post them into the forum and I will respond there. If it's more of a personal nature, then just email me. Uh, there might be an occasion where you send me an email, uh, but I actually post my response in Moodle because I thought it was important uh, for everyone to know that. So if that does happen, uh, don't be offended. Um, and uh, but I will be sensitive as I can to any personal things that you might send me via email. So all is good. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the case.